assalamu alaikum students this is your science teacher from the crescent school i hope you all are fine and safe at your home let's start our today's lesson which is chapter number 3 friction and how object move but before that let's have a look on the previous lesson in our previous lesson we have learned about force effects of force effects on for, of force on shape on speed on direction on movement here we have the learning objectives in which we are going to learn about how to identify the friction in action in our daily life describe and give the examples of position and negative effects of friction observe how friction help us to ride a bicycle okay students before moving towards it's your activity time let's watch the video carefully and perform it also note down the observation on a notebook or a rough paper let's watch the video Okay boys perform that activity and write down the observations now moving towards have you ever noticed when we gave the box a push it starts moving after a while it stops moving why doesn't it continue to move don't you know why i think there must be a force above it okay Have you ever tried to opening the lid of a container with soapy hands? Were you able to do it? No, we cannot do that. The soap and water reduces the friction between our hands and container, making it difficult to grip or hold on the container. After these actions, here we come to know that there is a force which opposes the motion and this force is known as friction so we can see say that friction is a force that opposes motion when surfaces are in contact it slows down motion and movement and brings the object to stop friction help us to do many things in our life but my question is how friction help us in our daily life so friction can help us in our daily life by tying a shoe sitting on bench strike some matchstick hold on a pencil friction also help us to walk friction between the ground and our shoe help us to walk without slipping but it is difficult to walk on the wet surface or ice because there is less friction between these surfaces and our shoe so we can say that it is difficult to walk on ice because there is less friction between the surface and shoe less friction means more slipping okay look at try it out on page number 63 cycle around a playground on a bicycle bicycle remember to put on a helmet 
observe how friction help us to ride a bicycle when we riding on a bicycle we can observe that there is a friction between back side and seat there is a friction between hand and handle bar there is friction between brakes and wheel there is friction between shoe and pedal there is friction between tire and ground you can find this activity on your book from page number 63 It's time for the summary of a lesson. So today we have learnt about friction, frictional force. Video watch. Friction also help us in our daily life. Try it out of page number sixty three. It's time for your written work. Question number one: What is friction and friction force? Question number 2 how friction force can help us in our daily life Question number 3 why it is difficult to walk on ice I hope you like the video thank you so much for watching